All right. Yet another Mandriva-based distribution has found its way into the wild. Today, I'm looking at Rosa, codenamed Desktop Fresh. We're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. KDE Desktop looks a little bit different than other KDE distributions I have reviewed in the past. Looks like a simpler desktop. Okay, if you look in the upper corner of the screen, this is where you can uh, add a panel, add widgets, activities, you can specify your shortcut settings, folder view settings, lock widgets, lock screen, or just leave. On the lower right corner of the screen here, you'll see there is a panel that will lift up and let you add uh, widgets to the beautiful panel that is on the bottom here. You have quick access to your trash, your current time, your network interface, volume control, USB drives, your clipboard manager. Uh, you have uh, quick access to your desktop configuration, such as your account details, your application's appearance, system notifications, file associations, your locale, personal information, shortcuts and gestures. This also has KWIN with it. And you can configure your desktop effects, your workspace appearance, accessibility options, default applications. Uh, you can perform a desktop search, your window behavior and workspace behaviors, as well as a number of other settings here to allow you to get the most out of this. You'll notice here that I already changed uh, one of the window borders when I was playing around with the setup. This uses KWIN uh, for its desktop effects. And when you uh, click on the uh, Show uh, Desktop Grid icon, you will see that you have four desktops to choose from. You can easily position windows on whichever desktop you wish. And you can have as many or as little number of desktops that you want. You also have a quick launch here to your stacks. Currently inside that is just a welcome PDF file with instructions on how to use it. You get MROC for playing your music files. You have uh, Mozilla Thunderbird for email, uh, Copete for instant messaging, Firefox for web browsing. One of the things that interests me about this distribution is how they put together all the icons for their set here. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the icons that they have included with this and I like them so much that I actually downloaded the icons from this distribution so I could use them on my desktop. Now unlike other KDE distributions where you have a button on the bottom that launches a menu, this has a program called Simple Welcome. When you click on this, it'll give you a listing of your recent applications that you've run and quick access to your file system including network and your trash. Applications are not listed in categories here. Everything is kind of jumbled together. I really don't care for that personally. But the thing is, if you do want to have a normal menu back, we can uh, actually change that. So let's close this here and let's add a normal menu. So that way I can do a better review of this. So we just select add widgets, wait 20 minutes for it to load up. We'll select application launcher menu Okay, we can close this now. All right, now we have a menu. Okay, and you get a few internet tools here. Blue Devil, Firefox, Copete, uh, an internet dial-up tool, KTorrent for BitTorrent, Mozilla Thunderbird. It looks like they have a few more thrown in here. Okay, UMagic Softphone. And uh, that looks like a nice alternative to Skype. That's something I'm going to be looking into. You get the full LibreOffice Suite, Ocular Document Viewer, and some more links to other open office. Blend View for uh, viewing images, color paint, case snapshot. And I don't know why they gotta have all these more in here. All right, sound and video. You get Amarok, Pulse Audio Volume Control, and the Rosa Media Player. In tools, you get um, a file roller, KCalc, KNotes, console, KWrite, regional settings, and more. 
bases. And it uh, looks like one card game and one strategy, or two, two strategy games. K-Mines, which is my favorite game out of the KDE suite. I play it all the time. And Color Lines. So I really think this distribution could be a little bit faster and snappier. This is just, you know, it just seems a little bloated for my liking. But the thing is, I do like some of the elements that KDE has to offer. I use them on my system. I have KWIN, I'm using KDN Live for my video editor. I have, uh, you know, uh, I have a number of KDE applications working on my XFCE desktop. And I think the KDE team is doing a great job with KDE, but I just don't like it as a, de a desktop as a whole. I just use some of the components of it and mix them in with my system. But this distribution looks nice. If you love KDE, you should download this and give it a try. Mm -hmm.